So 24 hours later, um, almost the worst case scenario happened. Um, all five of these boxes got stuck in either Indianapolis or Memphis. Um, I don't know what the issue was in Indy. I guess the tornadoes and flooding affected Memphis. Somehow, I don't know how much because I actually had, I shipped out two or three snakes and they actually went through Memphis okay. Um, I think I actually had two or three come through Memphis and they were delivered yesterday. So I don't know if it was the time that they came through. Um, but as usual, most people aren't very, uh, very happy with um, FedEx. Just a disaster after disaster. Um, everybody I bought from was on top of it in terms of making sure that um, you know Reptiles Express or Shippy Reptiles knew about the issue and they were trying to mitigate it, but apparently there's nothing they could do. Um, but this is also why when you're shipping, you need to follow the guidelines pretty strictly as to when you should and should not ship. And um, really why I tend to only like to ship to Hub for pickup um, there's just too many factors in the shipping process to make things go awry and it's the safest thing to do for the snake. Um, luckily, so far, while these girls are a little, this girl's a little cold, but she's alive. <laughs> um, here we just, looks like she's in the middle of shedding too. It's a little pastel pie. Um, there's no shed in there, but she has some on her. You can see, look how slow her tongue's flicking. She's really cold. Um, uh, they said they had the 72 hour heat pack in here, which was good, but it looks like it probably ran out at this point. Um, so she's cold, but she's definitely alive. Um, again, she's just a pastel pied. She's probably in the thousand gram range. Um, she looks like she'll be okay. I'll get her in her tub though, to get her warmed up. Um, you know, hopefully we don't have any issues with her. I'm gonna put her away because there's actually another one in here. And we'll just finish unboxing this box before I cut for the next one. And um, this girl is a silver bullet, um, which is a super cinnamon pastel. Now I do have another silver bullet, um, Oreo, and this girl is going to be in my urban camo project because with Urban Camo, I think probably maybe the hardest thing to do is to hit the Super Cinnamon. You have to have Super Cinnamon or Cinnamon Black Pastel to hit the Urban Camo. Um, and I'm trying to kind of make sure that I hit that gene um, pretty easily. And, um, you know, having a Cinnamon, you have to have Cinnamon in both parents. And guaranteeing Cinnamon out of one of those makes it all that much easier. Um, this girl is cold, but she's alive and well too. And she looks pretty much almost identical to my Oreo. Um, she's definitely cold too. Very slow tongue flicks, but she actually looks almost identical to Oreo. So that's a super cinnamon pastel. Really pretty snake. You can almost kind of see where the, the silver bullet gets its influence from. You can see it in this snake, um, just the way the pattern comes out. Um, but, uh, you know, she's cold too, so I'm gonna try to get through the rest of this unboxing pretty quickly to make sure all these guys are okay. All right, on to the next one. Got those girls put away and they're all nice and safe. Not sure which one this is. This one looks cold too, so I don't know which type of heat pack was in there. But it definitely is not working anymore, so. I don't know if that's a 72 hour or not, but I was actually previously only buying the 40 hour heat packs, but um, stuff like this happening all, all too frequently with FedEx, I think I'm going to change to the 72 hour heat packs just to be safe. Yeah, all righty. Okay. This is, this is kind of neat because this is the only ball python <laughs> that I own. That looks like a normal, but it's not. This is a het lavender albino het pied, which is for the Dreamsicle project, female. Um, so I have two females now that I'll be able to work into that project. I'm probably gonna be looking for another one over the next couple months, hopefully an older one, um, to try to hit some dream, Dreamsicles next season. Um, but she's, I think around 900 grams or so, 
and she's in shed. Um, but this is the only female in my whole collection, the only snake in my whole collection that is actually like a normal looking um, classic ball python. So that's kind of neat. Um, it's awesome that she has the, the, the hats in there, um, but it's kind of neat to actually have a normal looking ball python to show people. Um, you know, this is what it looks like compared to like one of the craziest snakes I have. So that's really cool. I was actually really excited about getting her. Um, so she should be ready to go for next season and work into hopefully making some dreamsicles. And before I put this one away, um, I'm not so happy now because this, and this is why you always need to sex your snakes, is not a female, it's a boy. Um, so, um, you know, it's, I'm not really going to show you right now because I want to get the other snakes out of the tubs. Um, but it's not very hard to tell a male from a female if you know what you're doing, especially if you're popping them. And males of this size, it can be harder to pop them sometimes, but their hemipenes usually pop out pretty easy. And sperm plugs also popped out. Um, so this uh, breeder is not going to have a very kind email here shortly because you should know how to sex your animals if you're selling them. Um, and um, so this is going to have to go back through the process of me shipping it and returning it to, to the breeder. So um, I'm going to put this snake away and start unboxing the other ones and then have to send that email here shortly. All right, so this is one that I'm really excited about. Um, this is a another pied female. She's close to, if not at breeding size, um, from Skip's Termite Mound. And it's a, a new, um, a new, I guess, line of granite that he kind of discovered. Um, and so far, he's uh, really kind of made a cool combo with, um, with Mojave. I don't know how much he's really worked it into Pied yet. Um, so I don't know even exactly who I'm going to pair her up to next year. Um, but she's a big girl. She's actually probably going to be 1,500 grams or so. Um, it's really dark. It's a really dark gene. She's all balled up. She's here safely, which is what I'm kind of most, what's most important. Um, let me get her head out of there. It's a really dark, dark gene. Um, I'm interested to see what how it works into other stuff and into um, pied. Um, kind of see. I'd like to see what it looks like not in pied, but to be honest, I'll probably only breed her to pied. So um, you know, we'll see how it interacts with the other um, whatever male I decide to pair her up to next year. But she's a big girl. She's really healthy looking. She's a little cool also. So these heat packs are just kind of. I guess the 72 hour ones really don't last 72 hours. But she's a big girl. Um, and I want to get her put away as well so she warms up. And then I have one snake left, and then I have one more surprise unboxing, a new pet for, uh, for Blind Strike Exotics. All right, so this last snake here is a big, 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 big girl. Um, sorry, baby. Um, oh, she's real big. 3,000 3, grams big. Um, she is a silver streak, which is a black pastel, super pastel. Um, again, this is really going to be a, it's in the eight ball complex. It also works into the urban camo. I am probably going to work her into, maybe not my, my main male that I got from Osborne. Um, I might get a second urban camo project male and uh, have like two different kind of breedings going. She is uh, ready to pop out, it looks like. <laughs> she's big. She's very big. I think she's over 3,000 grams. And she is... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> she's a big one. Oh, her head's still stuck in the pillowcase. I it. Look how big, Maddie. Woo! That's a big snake, huh? Yeah. That's her little tail. Look how big she is. That, that's a pretty big, hefty snake there. Um, and I think she only, I think... Uh, from the breeder, she only had like a five egg clutch the last time, so I don't, I mean, that's a big girl to only have a five egg clutch. I'd be surprised if something bigger than that doesn't come out. Um, so this is very similar, like when you see Sterling's, it's super pastel cinnamon. 
This is super pastel, black pastel. Um, so it's called a silver streak. So it's very similar to a sterling. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'd be able to tell them apart if you didn't tell me beforehand whether it was cinnamon or black pastel. Ooh, um, so they're very guy. similar. She looks very similar to my sterling so female. Cute. She is really cute. She's heavy too, huh? Yeah, she's so big enough to hold her. I'm gonna go like this. Oh, on your shoulder. Ooh. She's almost bigger than you. So, uh, she's, again, cold, so I'm gonna get her put away, but I'm glad that all of the snakes arrived healthy. Not very happy that one snake arrived with a, with a heavy beans, because <laughs> they were all supposed to be females today. Um, and I'll get her put away, and then I'll open up the last little surprise pet. Alright, so Maddie is very excited about this one. Hopefully this arrives safely, too. Um, it's so tiny, I hope it's okay. This is a baby Brazilian cherry, hood, cherry head red foot tortoise. Oh, he's oh, so tiny. Oh no, he's so cute. Oh, oh, no, no, hold here. I don't want you to drop him. Look how tiny he is. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a little baby. He's a tickle me. He tickles little toes. Look, he. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, it's sparky. So here's this guy. Look how tiny he is. So he's a he's a uh, red foot tortoise, but there's a kind of a, a morph off of them called a cherry head, where their head stays a lot more red as they get older. Um, so that's what he is. And he is like the cutest little thing in the world. <laughs> They're so tiny. And I'm, I, I was debating whether or not to buy some, one of the older ones on there, but like they're literally so cute at this size. And you're gonna have them for so long um, that I thought if I was gonna have him forever, that that I might as well get him as a baby, just so you have him and raise him up, and you can remember him when he's just like the tiniest little thing in the world. Um, so he's really cute. He looks like he's okay too, even though he was stuck in shipping. And I'll get him into his little cage, and maybe he'll even try to eat a little bit. But man, he's adorable. He's so cute. I mean, look how tiny he is. He's a little, little tiny. Tiny little thing. Um, so he's gonna be our little a little pet, somebody that you know Maddie can hang out with and I'm not worried about it slithering away or um, I'm really excited about him, he's really cool. I've honestly never I don't think I've ever, ever owned a turtle. Um, maybe I had a red-eared slider like when I was really young, back because they were still popular back in the nineties and in the eighties. Um, but I've never really owned a I've never owned a tortoise or a box turtle. Um, so I'm really excited about this guy. I'm glad I decided to kind of dive in and do it. Um, he's really cute. He's so tiny. I think this might be one that my wife is not afraid of and that she's actually going to think is cute. So that's it for today. Everybody's put away. Um, you know, I keep checking back on the snakes just to make sure they're okay because they were sitting in cold weather for a little bit. Um, just really, really, really pushes the importance of making sure that you're sticking to the guidelines provided by Ship Your Reptiles or Reptiles Express. Um, make sure you're following the heat pack guidelines, the temperature guidelines, whether or not you should ship, um, and whether or not you should ship because of the weather on the destination. You leave it there, honey, okay? Um, that heat pack's actually still sort of warm, so that's nice. Um, he's actually even, kind of looks like he's warming up a little bit and moving. Um, so just follow those guidelines. Make sure it's safe. Try to do it for hub pickup if you can. Shipping to home is not the best because I've had a lot of delays from, I've had drivers not drop them off until six o'clock and the trucks are not temperature controlled. When they're sitting at the hub, I'm talking, okay? The hubs are temperature controlled. So when your animals are sitting there, they're at least gonna be in 70 degree weather. If they're on a truck, that truck's either gonna be 20 degrees in the winter or it can be 90 degrees in the summer. So they're either gonna freeze or bake. Um, and, and you have no guarantee that the truck driver mm -hmm. is gonna deliver that animal to you by the 1030 time that mm -hmm. they're supposed to. And to be honest, they usually they didn't. So I completely stopped from having them shipped to home. Um, and I only pick up from hub. Luckily, I'm only 15 minutes from a hub. Um, but don't, don't touch his head, okay, it'll scare him. Um, so try to be safe with your snakes. Re getting them to you safely is the most important thing. And um, usually the way to do that is by shipping to the hub for pickup. So that's it for today. Um, you can touch. 
this little guy. Um, I don't know if it's a, a boy or a girl. They said they incubated them at a certain temperature to, to see if they were girls. Um, but because it's a turtle, and because I'm a child of the 80s and 90s, and he's a red foot, uh, cherry head red foot tortoise, his name's gonna be Raph. And we'll just assume that it's a, a boy. If not, if it's a girl, uh, it can still be Raph, because it could be Raphaella. Um, but so this is Raph, the newest pet of Blind Strike Exotics. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by, and please remember to like and subscribe. See ya. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> see you guys. Yeah, bye.